time, the memories it makes and fades will help determine how close we get to finding Ramona Brown. Just getting here has been quite a journey. Two children die, another missing in Algiers house fire. Fire officials are stumped by their inability to find the body of the third child. I tried like the devil to get to them. I heard them calling daddy. It's the worst thing that ever could happen to me, Mrs. Brown said. It hurts so bad. The library's been my second home. From those historical newspaper archives to the maps that the city has that helped me recreate what the Browns neighborhood looked like in 1984, the libraries have just been a huge help. We go and we find the item number, and from the item number, we get an access number. And the access no number tells me what the number I need to pull from the drawer to get you the report. It's gonna be 52F, which is a resident fire, and that's gonna be the access number, C0896. And this report will give you everything. It says here that she burned to death. They don't put photographs with the reports. It's part of evidence, right? Right, it's different. right. Yeah. Hurricane Katrina was devastating for the city's historical records. The NOPD lost evidence in the flood and the fire department lost a lot of reports, including the report on the Browns house fire in a fire that broke out in the aftermath of Katrina. From knocking on doors in the Browns neighborhood. So I just did an interview with one of the witnesses to the fire here in Orlando to Orlando, to Alabama, to Destin, Florida. The story on Ramona Brown has taken us to several states, but some of the biggest breakthroughs in the story came after hours of searching public records online. I've spent months getting to know the Brown family, trying to get new information about the search for Ramona, trying to understand what it's like to spend 33 years wondering what happened to her. More on that in a moment. One moment can inspire. You got the baby.